My understanding of the role of a scientist is not someone uh, who, who tells you what the truth is, because as a scientist, I'm, I'm more humble than that. I think, yes, we have a role. We have a critical role, I agree, but we don't have uh, a too big role in the sense that it, it has to do with risks. Uh, because we have a lot of pros and cons in this issue and without debate on that which is value-based there's no way we can decide and also by sci as scientists we are uh, funded for doing certain research and we funded less for doing others mm -hmm. and that is influencing the scientific outcomes not in the sense that the scientific outcomes in whatever study you're looking at if it's if it's well done it, it gives you the same result and it, there is some objectivity to it but the, s the selection of topics uh, is something which is done in a dialogue with with the general public, with society in general. There is a contract between scientists and, and the society. What is it about being in, physically in the presence of weather? Being on the ground and seeing what a place is like and seeing what the weather is like there gives you an intangible sense of, of, of the location and it improves your interpretation and your understanding of what your computer model is telling you or what the weather data that you're seeing is telling you. You're more fully immersed in what's happening and it provides you with a lot of clues and a lot of bits to think about. If you're standing outside and you feel the gustiness of the wind or you um, see the way the clouds are moving across the sky, it, it, they're intangible things that are providing you clues to what may be going on. The most important thing is to keep in mind that we have very good observational tools and that we have that we can observe a high complexity and a high variability and to understand that um, mm -hmm. many observations on the they, they might look controversial but because of the complexity of the system they actually mm -hmm. if you look closer to it they actually fit together mm -hmm. so I I would say it's important to keep in mind for the public to filter out that noise in that press releases and in that reports in newspapers. That's very important and to keep the big picture in mind. Got it. All right. Yeah, you know, maybe she can just schedule Want the time. Do a easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Already in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
I'm Victoria Sankovic. I'm a weather observer. We observe cloud heights, um, the visibility, whether or not it's snowing or if there's ice grains or ice crystals, um, as well as pressure and temperature and wind. Um, I have a degree in meteorology. I applied for this job to kind of get out of that and get away from computers and get back to the weather and get back outside. So there was a while when I looked up at the sky and saw equations rather than big puffy clouds. Mm. So I'm glad that that finally went away. I think you have to love weather, obviously, to come here at all. And also you have to, be, you have, to have a lot of attention to detail. For me, when I go outside to look, there's a moment of quiet where I just go and take everything in. And the, the instruments, clearly they can't think and <laughs> don't do that, so they, I guess it has more soul than the instruments can 